Heidi. Hi, guys. Hey. hey. Look at this color on you. I love, love it. Guys, love it. Hey. Hello. I know. It's been so nice. How are you? Good. How are you? Whitney's a pro at yoga. No, I'm not at all. <laughs> Heidi's doing it absolutely perfectly. <sighs> Excuse me, one minute. <sighs> I am enjoying this moment. <sighs> no haters. <laughs> Look at the guard dog. <laughs> Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. For no problem. Over. Or do you needed some help around here a little bit? I do. So there's a couple sprinklers that need fixed. Okay. So these are part of the sprinklers? Yeah, so one of these sprinklers shoots out the window and then these two. Usually I'm annoying my dad and brother all the time with this stuff. You need a solid dude just to come around and help you out a little bit, huh? <laughs> Justin the handyman. Okay, that one should be fixed. Justin has been in my life for so long, and even though we've had our ups and downs, I know that he will always be there for me when I really do need him. And at this point, we've become such close friends again, so him coming over to fix the sprinkler is like the person to call. What else is there? You got so some there's electrical a, stuff? a light inside. Okay. And there's actually a picture I need hung, but. What? <laughs> Am I in it? Why, and if you still you want your salad. Thank you. Thank your you. Salad. I couldn't whip that up for you. Yeah. But, I, you know. This was so nice of you to do. Oh my God, yeah. I totally needed some soothing yoga after all that drama. How There's been doing? hard with COVID, with, you know, financially. Yeah. You know, thank God we're all healthy, but we're just trying to move forward for our family. And it's been a really tough year. Spencer and I have been trying to get pregnant, which obviously hasn't happened yet. Our finances have really been struggling because of COVID. If you don't fix the way you run this business, it will go away. You are like this close to everything disappearing. I think I've laid off six people from the company, I've drastically had to downsize. I've had to tell Spencer to stop buying crystals. We just need to get back, get on our path, good energy, good vibes, and just release everything that's happened. So I heard a little bit from Caitlin and like a little bit from Audrina. They just said that there was like a big blow up in Lake Tahoe and it was like Jason and Ashley and you and Spencer just like going at it. It was so intense. Oh yeah, but I, I, need know, I, was to gonna... know, I need the specifics. You and Spencer just left really fast. Yeah, I mean, I needed to prioritize my son and being there and I felt like the drama was out of hand. It's like, I don't need any more of that in my life and I have enough going on and I do need to wake up and be running a company and being a mom and I'm a wife and yeah, I just, I don't have energy. enough energy for that. Yeah, and we just need to detach. I haven't talked to Heidi at all. <laughs> I hope this blows over because this is getting ridiculous. I don't know, it I just. It's, it really sucks. I feel like anything that's gonna happen with the group now, it's like... It's gonna be awkward. Yeah. How is it with everybody else? I don't know really where I stand with Adrena. She hasn't reached out at all? No, she hasn't reached out what? at all. She wasn't even like, hey, how are you? Are you okay? I can see how for you, it must be really hard to know who you can trust. Heidi, on Instagram, she blocked me. So why do you think Heidi blocked you? I feel like Heidi may have gotten upset when I stood up and I ran to Ashley instead of her. Possibly. Your oh. is all bad. Ashley. No, Ashley. don't, no. You can't even write her to ask her why you blocked me. <laughs> I have a great time with Heidi. We have so much fun together, but for my personal well-being, I don't want to be around the stress, the negativity, the drama, or be sucked into it. I don't yeah. know where their minds are at, and I honestly can't sit here and try to figure it out.
You can get mad at me if you, <laughs> like you totally can. When you block people after you get in fights. What, on like social like, media? Yeah, on social media. I feel like those moves, even though where you're coming from is protecting yourself, like that could come off to someone as like aggressive. Oh, I forgot I blocked Adrena on Instagram. I forgot, I forgot, I really did. Um, I didn't block her phone number, so maybe if she cared, she could have texted me or called me. I didn't block her phone number. I didn't block you IRL in real life, girlfriend. I feel like I have been very honest, honest with, her. with her. I feel like I've been great with communicating with her and mm -hmm. the whole group. I feel like I've been very communicative. And with everyone. It's just unfortunate, it's just, it's frustrating. Though. Yeah, I didn't bring that up to make you upset. I just think it's worth talking about. Like the way that you handle something, like a fight, can then fuel mm -hmm. further mm -hmm. things. You know what I'm saying? Well, maybe I was really hurt by you, bro. Trying to make me look bad. Stephanie, get out of here.